beautiful hearts, welcome. So today's reading is going to be all about who secretly has feelings for you. And I know some people might have come to this pile because they have an idea who this person might be. But others of you might not be sure who this person is. It doesn't matter either way because what we're going to do is we're going to dive into each pile and have a look and see how you might recognize them. So hopefully as we're going through that process, you'll be able to get a feel for whether it feels like um, your person or it feels like a person you're recognizing, a connection you're recognizing. And also I want to have a look at their feelings for you and what it is about you that they are connecting with and feeling drawn to. So hopefully those um, messages will act as like an energy check-in so that you can get a sense of, yes, this feels like my pile. And then once we do that, I want to start bringing through um, the Oracle cards with their messages for you. And also, of course, as I'm receiving any messages or names or anything like that, I will bring those through as well. But I'll finish off today with some charms. I haven't done those for the last few readings, but I know some of you do enjoy those. So I'll finish off with some charms and some letters at the end of each pile. Okay, let's have a look at our three decks here. And I've popped a crystal on top, as I usually do, just for those that like to choose with the crystal. So the first deck is the Radiant Whimsical Synthetic Tarot. And it's a really vibrant deck with, um, it plays around with proportions. It's a beautiful deck. I love working with all of these. And it's paired with this selenite. So if you're drawn to the selenite or to these backs or maybe to this direction, you'll be pile one. For pile two, we have the beautiful Dream Visions Tarot with this fluorite. So that will be our pile two. And for pile three, the Tarot de la Nui with this beautiful rose quartz. So if you're drawn to either of those, you'll be pile three. So feel free to take as long as you need to choose your pile. And for anyone who's new here, I always say how important it is, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Nothing should make you feel unsettled or should feel off to you in any way. If it does, that's a good sign that that message isn't for you and just leave it behind for someone who it does resonate with. Okay, so I will go ahead and um, shuffle in each of the piles, timestamp them and I'll see you at your pile. See you there. Okay, beautiful pile one. We'll pop your crystal there. We'll put your oracle cards here and let's have a look. So you have the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands, okay, the Page of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. You know, as soon as I started laying your cards down, pile one, I got this, that this could be someone that you're connected with through some kind of social connection, sporting connection, um, something that you do that is fun, um, that is relaxing or enjoyable. I mean, it doesn't have to be relaxing, but it, it feels like some kind of downtime situation or something that you enjoy but that came through straight away and you do have the three of cups here so let's just keep having a look i feel like there's a strong physical attraction but you have the ten of swords up the top so they may feel a little bit uh, or more than a little bit put out that they haven't been able to express their feelings or that they're secretly having these feelings two of wands they might be tossing up whether to express the feelings. You know, the other thing that's coming through here is that perhaps some of them have expressed their feelings in a social environment, but then when you've seen them in other settings, nothing's been said. It's like maybe at some time there was an expression of feeling or attraction, 
and then it gets pulled back or everything's quiet. We'll have a look more about what that Ten of Swords could be about in a moment. Uh, I just want to get some more out of these cards first. So you've got Page of Swords and Knight of Cups. Yeah, I do feel like for many of you, this person has said something to you either about um, their feelings. It could have been something just small or, or their attraction. There could be some, even though it's secretly, maybe you're thinking it's just a physical attraction or it was in the past. You're not really thinking of it as them having feelings for you as such. Like you might be thinking, yeah, this person in the past, they expressed an attraction or they said something that they cared about me. But I didn't really take it seriously because it was a social setting or we were just having fun or we're in a very relaxed state. Maybe this is why they feel, you know, it didn't get off the ground, it didn't go further or they didn't do more with it. And so they're um, upset by that or they feel like it kind of fizzled, you know, it didn't really go any further. Maybe there was even something physical here that did happen at some point with a few of you. So let's come up on that Ten of Swords and have a little bit more of a look what that might be about. All right. <clears throat> so judgment in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person feels like it didn't go further. Nothing happened with it. Maybe they think you weren't interested. Did pile one hear me? Did pile one care? Does pile one remember? They might be thinking, look, five of wands. They might be conflicted about whether to say anything about it or whether to come forward again. They might think that you just see it as the physical. Let's have a look at this ace of wands. Show me more about this ace of wands, please. <clears throat> yeah, look at that. So a repeat of this Three of Cups. So if there was some attraction um, expressed or something physical that happened between the two of you, this person may be feeling like the only reason that happened was because of some kind of celebration environment or happy um, party environment or a social environment, somewhere the two of you were letting your hair down, enjoying yourselves. Maybe they're thinking, you know what? I don't think um, pile one is interested. I think that's all it was. It was just this. It was just that moment. It started and stopped there. Like that was the extent of it. Yeah, the star on the bottom. They were hoping for something more and they've been hoping for something more since. Even if it was just a little bit of flirting or something that they said that kind of indicated. Yeah, look. Feeling like they don't really have an option maybe to come towards you or to say anything more why is that why is that two of pentacles in reverse okay king of swords they're holding themselves back from saying anything and the devil's on the bottom you know what I'm getting from this? This person could um, be telling themselves all kind of things about their own insecurities or what might happen if they come towards you. Maybe they're saying things like, pile one isn't interested in me. If they wanted more, they would have said something or this would have gone further or they would have picked up on me saying I was attracted and realised that it meant I you know, want more with them. Something along those lines. But with that devil energy, I feel like this person is thinking about this over and over, like going over the connection, going over their feelings for you, but telling themselves, I can't go towards pile one. Whatever happened has happened, or I have said something in the past. Many of you will be saying nothing has happened, but I feel like this person either feels like they have, maybe they feel like they've hinted, but they feel like they have done something to indicate an interest in you is what I'm getting. They've done something to indicate some interest, indicate some attraction, indicate they want more. 
<clears throat> Let's keep going. Show me anything else. Show me about this person, what attracts them to pile one. I'm getting the name Adrian. Getting the name Stefan. Richard. Seven of Cups in reverse. Nine of Wands. And the Lovers. Okay. I'll put that one there. <clears throat> this person may really um, elevate you and have let me just have a look at this for a moment this person might see you through some lens of like some idealistic lens, like really hold you up high. I'm not saying that they don't see your positive attributes because I do feel they do, but they may have really amplified how um, all these qualities in you that they want to be around you and really be focused and fixated on. Let me just see. It almost feels like going over and over in your head that you can't be with someone because you hold them up so high on a pedestal. You know, they might even feel like they are the only ones that know you or they know you so well. But by the same token, I don't know if that's true. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, they feel like you are the the person. You're the person that they think about. You're the, the person for them. You're the star, like in the room. They walk into a room or you walk into a room and you're the one that everyone's eyes are on. Look at that. They want to hold on to you. Maybe for a few of you, there was something here. There was some sort of connection. But I feel like this person wants to hold on to you and have some kind of deeper connection with you, some sort of love connection with you. They want to know if you feel the same as them or they want you to feel the same as them towards them. The sun, yes. So in terms of what it is about you that they're attracted to, I definitely feel there's a strong physical attraction. Absolutely, I'm getting that coming through. I'm actually getting a feeling from this person that they are very romantic and they might listen to a lot of romantic music, like songs about love and think of you because I just had a whole kind of compilation of music. I couldn't really even sort through but it felt like love music. That was the kind of vibe I was getting. And so I feel like this person has a lot of like deeper emotions. They feel like they know you better than anyone. And I don't know how well this person does know you. They might know you well, but they feel like they want to get closer to you. Let me just have a look. How well does this person know part one? Okay, maybe for some of you, this is someone you did have something with and so they do know you quite well, but you could have also changed or be doing different things since you were last connected. You know, they might feel hurt. They could have been a friend. They don't have to have been a love interest. It could have been a friend that you've been very close to. Let's have a look at your oracle cards and see what we can get here. For those of you who are resonating and recognising who this person is, show me. 
So the cards are a bit sticky, even though I've wiped them because I had a coffee incident, pile one. I don't always do the piles in order. And I did pile threes before this one and had a major coffee incident. <laughs> and I've just cleaned it all up. But yeah, we had to stop the video and everything. It was a big thing. Choices, deciding between two lovers or other options. So it could be two lovers. Maybe they feel like this is you. That is deciding for a few of you it could be them but i get more that you would be the decider here pile one that they might feel like you have other options even if you're not in a connection they may feel like you've got other options so would you choose them would you actually choose them because they see you as a star but would you choose them maybe they're a bit threatened because you have other options and this is why they keep their feelings to themselves. If they feel a little bit insecure, if they feel like some old friend that's known you for a long time, they know you really well, or they had a past connection with you that didn't work out or whatever this is, perhaps that's what's going on there. Let's just keep going. I check on you for afar, from afar. Okay, so maybe there's some distance here. Maybe this is someone who's at a distance. Although it, it did seem that the two of you connected in some kind of social setting. Let's keep going. I wish I could take it back. Okay. I check on you from afar and I wish I could take it back. You know, this person, pile one, for some of you, may feel like something went on between the two of you that can't easily be undone. They might feel like they knew you well at one point in time and they feel like you're their person, you're the star, you're the person they hold up here. The two of you at one stage were connected, had these happy times together, but they don't know if they even are on your radar at this point in time because of others around you and maybe because of distance here for some of you. Soulmate connection, yeah. They could definitely be feeling it's a soulmate connection. Temptation, okay. Who's got temptation? So we've got choices here. Choices between two lovers or other options. <clears throat> okay, so for a few of you who've come to pile one, if you resonated with these choices but you're saying, hey, it's not me that has a choice to make, it's them, Maybe you are the temptation for them. You two at one stage connected on whatever level, whether it was physical or it was just talking. There was some connection, but you're a temptation to them. They feel a connection to you, but they're not available. Maybe that's what this Ten of Swords is about. So maybe some of you who have come to Pile 1, if you resonated with this card here of Choices, and you're saying, it's not me who has a choice to make. It's actually them. Maybe they are feeling like we connected at one time. I really feel like there's something special about pile one. I put them on this pedestal. I check on them from afar. I wish I could take back whatever happened or whatever I said. We did connect, but I don't feel like pile one's going to choose me because they know I've got options. I've got choices and they might not trust me but they're a temptation for me. Maybe that's the case for some of you. Take that temptation card, how it resonates, but somebody is feeling a temptation here, either you for them, they either see that you have temptations or that they have temptations, but I feel like they see you as a temptation. That's coming through here. Shift your focus. Yeah, they're wanting you to shift your focus to them. 
So they could be feeling like you have temptations. Shift your focus back to me, part one. Stop worrying about other people. Stop worrying about other people around you might be what they're thinking. But it's interesting because if they're not prepared to come towards you and express what their feelings are, how do they expect you to just go towards them? Like they want you to shift your focus, give up on any temptations and be focused on them, but they're not prepared to express. Endings. Okay. They entered into your life to test you, teach you, and bring out the very best in you. Now their part in your story is over. So perhaps this is what you're feeling. Are you feeling, part one, that this person entered into your life and created some challenge, some turmoil? Maybe they, maybe they feel like you've locked them out, like you're not interested, you feel like they're part is over like they've had their beat in your life take that if it connects plotting they're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know you have plenty of other options look so many of these cards are coming out that this person perceives you as having other options now you might be saying i don't have other options or you might be saying i'm interested in them or i don't know why they would be thinking there are others around me but over and over it seems to be coming through that they think you need to shift your attention to them you have temptations you you know they're holding you up in this light seeing you as someone who others are after and maybe they maybe you might have many other options this person seems quite um focused on that they seem quite focused. Maybe it's them that needs to shift their focus because they seem to be thinking over and over about all your options. Look at pile one. Look at all the choices they have. This is why I can't express my feelings because, you know, I might fall flat on my face because of all the options they have. So it says here they're stepping up their game. We'll have a look at a how in a moment. And guarded they are still very guarded and trapped behind their own emotional defenses allow them to fall in love in steps okay allow them to fall in love in steps hmm, okay I wish you were here with me. So that's another one that feels like physical separation, distance. I, f I am faced with constant reminders of you and another one. So this could definitely, definitely be someone who you are separated by with distance. Okay. You could be apart because of distance. This could be someone that you had something with or who expressed attraction to you, but they feel like you have so many options around you. This is why I feel like they're not expressing emotion. They're being very guarded. They have emotional defenses. They're going to need to do this in steps. Also, they entered your life to test you and teach you. I feel like this is how they think you're looking at it. This is how they think you see it. Let's have a look at this plotting card. Show me what they're doing to step up their game because this looks like they're just looking at this situation worried with that ten of swords card and all these other cards and thinking pile one isn't interested in me pile one has too many options here i don't have a chance so what are they doing here with plotting show me plotting Look at the way he's looking in that card. Look at the look on his face. It's like that game of chess. He's really thinking about his next move. Okay. How are they plotting? Interesting. Two of swords. Is this person, pile one, 
playing a little game of cat and mouse, like you'll hear from them and then they'll go quiet. A little bit of back and forth, this feels like to me. The Two of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, like putting the work in then pulling back. Putting some work in then pulling back. Feels like a bit of hot and cold. Maybe that's how you can recognize them. Three of Wands. Interesting set of cards there. Getting Jeremy. Getting Josh. Stephen. Okay. All right, let's have a look now at some letters and see what we get through in the letters here. We've got V, A, C, T, F, C, R. O, P, P, U, U, I, W, Y, one more, B, Q, Z, F, G, and S. All right. Getting Georgie. Okay, let's get some charms for those who resonate with the charms. Um, there's those bananas again. So there could be three people involved in this or somebody who has opinions on it. The little travel bag, the little rainbow there. So rainbow um, is making me think of the distance here, like the two, it's like a bridge. It's making me think of a distance between two people. So I keep getting that thing about distance. I feel like for some of you, you were close by each other and now you're not. You know, like there was connection and now there's distance. Little baseball bat and mitt. We've got Scorpio. Uh, the little skull with the moustache. So a moustache might be relevant. The musical instrument. The little pink dress. That little pussy cat with a heart. So someone may really love their cat. The dragonfly, so someone may be um, very close, like feel a close connection to spirit and the praying hands as well. And what have we got here? An M, Mitchell, as I put that M down as well. Okay, all right, let's see if there's any last messages coming through for pile one. Any last messages for pile one, please? Show me what this person intends to do. They're playing hot and cold from the looks of it. What else? They certainly look like they um, look up to you, like put you on a pedestal. Think back to some time you were closely connected, perhaps even like physically in a closer vicinity to each other. They feel like you have a lot of options, a lot of people... Um, wanting to connect with you. They seem to be in that Ten of Swords energy, feeling pretty down that they can't express themselves or they're holding back from expressing themselves because they're worried about other options that you have. But at the same time, it looks like they might be, for some of them, coming in and then going out, like you might have this in and out energy. We've got Queen of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Swords. 
yeah, four of cups in reverse and the six of cups. Okay. Yeah, some of you may um, feel like you're just not giving this person as much time. You, this might be how you're identifying them. Like someone I used to connect with a lot more. We don't talk as much now. But I noticed that they'll go quiet for a while, then they'll pop back in. That could be the way that you recognize them. Like I might hear from them, then I will hear from them. I'm seeing here. Craig. I think that came through in pile one. Oh, sorry, pile three, maybe. It came through in one of the other piles. Um, I'm getting Wayne too as I'm looking at this W. Donnie could be another one. We've got that in there. Kate could be another one. Caitlin, Sam I'm getting as well. So I feel like you might be giving a little bit less time to this connection, but this person I feel is going to um, continue to keep in contact with you. Like they might go quiet for a little bit, but they will continue to put in some effort. Like they'll keep coming back in and they need to sort out, I guess, what they're going to do with these feelings. Are they going to express them or are they not? Because the whole thing seems to be that for many of them, it could be up in their head that they're just not... Um, coming forward because they don't want to face the possibility that you're going to say, look, I have many other options, I'm not interested. So it's all about whether they want to find it within themselves to express what they're feeling. That's what it looks like to me. Sorry, I keep being drawn back to these letters here. I'm not sure why. I know that the E is not here, but I'm getting that Penny may be a name. I think we've got the double N and the Y. No E. Okay. Danny is there. So let's see if you don't put any effort into this and they're doing the um, hot and cold for those who resonate with that, what happens from here? So many of you in pile one may actually have feelings for this person, may feel close to them. You've got the Hierophant here, so there may be a connection that you're feeling to them, but you may also feel like it's a lot of work. We've got uh, Taurus energy here. Who else do we have under, I don't know, I think um, Aquarius came up. Sorry, I'm just trying to remember what was under here. But, you know, you may feel like, yeah, there's a connection between the two of us. We're close. We know each other, but... It's a lot of work and I don't know if I have the energy to put into it. If they're not going to come forward, if they're not going to express, maybe you feel like you have a sense that they have these feelings, but you also are not um, confident or not feeling like they're going to express. Maybe they've just held back for a long time and you're feeling like, well, if they're going to keep doing this, where can it possibly go? Like what can come of this if they're not going to open up? Where's it going to go to? Like, where does it end? So that may be something as well that's going on for you, pile one. You might just feel like it is what it is. It's going to stay like this. We're going to remain friends, but I don't see it getting off the ground unless they open up because I can't have a connection with someone who isn't open. I can't have a connection with someone who keeps their feelings to themselves or who is intimidated because other people might be attracted to me. Some of you in pile one may find that you do have several other people that are interested in you, but that doesn't mean that you're necessarily going out with each and every one of them. You know, this person might have an idea that every night you're having a different date. That might be their um, idea because, you know, they know that people um, notice you. That could be their, their kind of idea of what's going on. And you might be thinking, you know, you know me, you should know me better than that. Just because people are interested doesn't mean I'm going to necessarily be dating them. So I feel like you're waiting for them to get a bit of confidence, get in the right energy or decide what they want to do with these feelings, decide whether they want to move towards you. And until then, it's like this is taking up perhaps a lot of your, um, this perhaps feels tiring, you know, for some of you with this 
uh, Ten of Wands. It's like, yeah, I acknowledge the connection, but I don't want to carry this. I don't want to carry all these wands around. I don't want this to be hard. I want it to be easy. I want it to flow. I want it to be something we're both in, that we both feel comfortable talking to each other. We both feel like we can be open and I feel trusted and that what I say is believed. So that's what I'm getting for you. And I think I'm seeing as I'm um, doing this, am I? I was, I'm getting Sean as I was reading, but there's no H in there. But take that if and as it resonates. That's what I have for you, pile one. Um, I hope that it was helpful. If it was, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. Otherwise, hopefully I'll see you back next week. Until then, take care, sending you lots of love. And um, yeah, all the best. See you later, pile one. Bye. Okay, beautiful pile two. Let's pop your crystal there. Your oracle cards over here. Let's have a look. So we've got the magician. The three of swords. The page of wands. The lovers. The five of swords. Justice, okay, and the Nine of Swords. All right. So, pile two, this feels to me like it could be someone who feels like there's a block or a barrier of some sort coming between the two of you being together with that Three of Swords. And we've got the Five of Swords sitting underneath, so... They could be feeling like disappointment or feeling disheartened. Like, is this connection even possible? Like, could it happen? Would it happen? We've got the magician, though, sitting at the top. Um, Virgo, Gemini energy. And Gemini energy here again. So someone who is a real thinker, I feel. And someone who takes control and likes to um, create the life that they dream of. I feel like this person on some level feels that the right thing to do or the thing they would like to do is to step forward and express these feelings. But there's something around um, this justice card because it, like to me that is right down the center here. That's them feeling right about you know, stepping forward and expressing it and bringing it into the 3D. But look at, on either side of this Justice card, you've got the Five of Swords and the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> so by the same token, there could be a part of them that feels almost, um, maybe they're questioning or they're wondering, like weighing it up, like, is it right for me to step forward? because it feels right or because I know I can manifest something or or that um, maybe there's something about them knowing there's attraction there or that like the magician is a very powerful card, right? So there might be a level of confidence, but it feels like a grounded confidence. Like it doesn't feel like a an arrogance. And perhaps part of them is saying, I could step forward here, but another part of them is wondering, is it the right thing to do? Or is the right thing to do for me to hold on to this feeling of just not expressing, even though it's not a comfortable place to be because I'm recognizing some sort of barrier or restriction or, you know, a few of them and this will only be for a couple of you, may even have stepped forward and expressed something in the past and it didn't go somewhere. I only get that for a few, but there's something around them having this dual way of looking at it. Like I could step forward towards pile two 
and that would be feel really good because it would be an expression of what I'm feeling and I would be stepping into my power and a part of their personality I feel that feels right to them that feels good to them regardless of what their sign is they don't have to be Virgo Gemini but I feel like they are a manifest as someone who is used to expressing themselves um maybe not I'm not necessarily saying verbally but expressing what they want out into the world and bringing it in you know they're used to manifesting to creating the life that they want and it could be in other aspects of their life that you see this but I feel like here they're saying you know do I do this do I step forward and do that or do I hold back hold on to these feelings and just keep it inside like because they recognize this other stuff going on around um, the connection whatever this is it feels like a block a it could be like a, a social boundary like maybe the two of you come from backgrounds where you have families that have opinions on the connection or it could be something around that it'll be different for different people but this person seems to feel like it's not straightforward. It's not as simple as me just expressing to pile two. As much as I might like to, there may be something that is a little bit of a hurdle to jump. Maybe the hurdle is just feeling like you're not interested in a connection. Maybe you have just come out of a connection or they've seen you come out of a connection and they feel like, you know what? Pile 2 is going to take their time for healing. Or maybe Pile 2 is going to say, I need to take my time for healing because I'm out of a connection. Whatever this is. So let's keep going here. Before I start going into what is attracting them to you, because that's the next part I want to move into and their feelings, I want to just keep going a little bit more and see if we can get a few more cards for those of you who might be feeling like yeah I kind of recognize them I feel like most of you will either recognize them by now or not but some people might be just wanting to see if more comes through to help to recognize them so what else on this person how else would pile to recognize this person I feel like this person's a real thinker and not necessarily someone who uh, verbalizes a lot you know they may keep a fair bit inside I'm just getting that through as I'm sitting here I don't mean that they're super super quiet a few of them may be but I get more just that you know there's a lot going on in their mind you know when you're sitting with someone and you have a sense that they're thinking but they're not necessarily sharing certainly don't get a sense of someone who shares every thought you know I don't get that sense. Someone who is more strategic, perhaps, a little bit more. Uh, what's the word? They're able to see see the finer details of things, like pick up on all the details and the nuances of things. Okay, yeah, look at that. Eight of Swords. Six of Pentacles in reverse holding themselves back. This is someone who's held themselves back. They haven't been sure if they should give to this. Um, oh, tell me more. Page of Swords. Ten of Cups. Let me look on the bottom. Four of Cups. In reverse. Yeah, to me, this looks like someone who has had an interest in you, who's had feelings for you, but has held themselves back, um, maybe even restricted the amount of communication that they've given to you. I mean, we've got Page of Swords, so I do feel you've had communication with this person. And you've got Ten of Cups. So maybe the communication you've had with this person, there's been some sort of recognition of another connection that you have or they have or some sort of emotional fulfillment family connection other maybe when you met this person one of you was in another relationship or in some sort of 
connection and that's what kept them held back. That may have shifted and changed by now, but this looks like someone who may have been around for quite some time and seen you move through different phases. Doesn't have to be you though, just keep that in mind that was in something else or that was where the boundary was coming from. It could have been from their side and it doesn't have to have been another relationship. That's why I'm calling it an obstacle or a wall because that's what it feels like to me. This three of swords feels like there was something that made them feel like, I don't know, here's um, pole two, here's me and here's whatever's between us and it's, it's creating some kind of disappointment or some feeling of, you know what, my hopes are dashed. Like, I don't know that this can happen. But at the same time, it doesn't seem to have changed the feelings. I mean, look at the difference in the cards there, even the colours from here and here. And then on the other side, it's like, to me, this feels like their truth straight down the centre, what they feel. And then the peripheral, it, peripheral <laughs> the outer cards are like the circumstances, the things that are going on around you. So I feel like there would have been some conversations that have happened between you but you maybe have noticed them holding back maybe they have stopped short of um, giving too much information or asking too much information and perhaps you've thought you know what there was something a little bit uh, jolty about the conversation you know when conversations they flow and you just have that natural ebb and flow of a conversation and you can tell someone is really comfortable like say if you're talking to your best friend and there'll just be this kind of back and forth or how are you whatever but with this person maybe there was a little bit of awkwardness and you just picked up on it and you thought why why did they get awkward or why why did the conversation suddenly get cut short when we got to that topic of maybe it was a topic of family or maybe there was just they asked you about that and it was like they were inquiring specifically about that and then after you said yes everything's going well with me um you know thanks at home and yeah my partner and I are doing this and then suddenly the conversation got cut short and then ever since that day maybe that was a long time ago this person even if you might not be in that connection has held back on these feelings because they've um, felt like it might not be the right thing or maybe they're wondering if you're still in a connection or whatever it is um, there could be something around that but to me this feels like it's something around the conversation that there could be a clue in the way this person has communicated with you and there could be a clue in something they've communicated about family maybe they just talk to you about your family you know or your home life doesn't have to be like partners. Some of you may be, um, you know, with extended family and they may be talking to you about that. But there's something where they hold back. They don't give too much. They, they restrict themselves. They might keep things very surface. Like, how are you? What are you doing? Um, what's been happening? But never going in deeper, never diving into the, you know, those deeper layers. And that in itself might stand out as, a little bit of a um, key you know like if somebody doesn't have these feelings then it's not really uncomfortable to go into those into those areas and sort of inquire oh yeah and how are you feeling about that and are you in a relationship maybe this person deliberately avoiding certain topics is what stands out to you but anyway I'll just leave that there for those that's resonating with Let's move into what it is about you that is attracting them to you. And I'm going to go back to your original deck and have a look and get some information now. Actually, I feel like I just want to move these cards. I want to get some information on what it is about you that is attracting them and their feelings. So I'll two. So I'm getting this song, and I'm not sure if this is the title of the song, but it's um, Stuck On You. It's an older song. I guess um, 
you know, spirit communicates with you in the music that you're familiar with. So it's going to come through with things that I'm familiar with, but stuck on you. And so I'll put the song into um, next to your pile, okay, or just under it in the description if you want to check it out. So stuck on you is making me feel like that part about this person knowing you for a while, that is a confirmation for that because you don't usually get stuck on someone when you've just known them for a while. So perhaps this has been a journey, you know, this has been a journey. Also, I know people don't like um, always having messages of exes, but I need to bring through whatever I'm getting. For a few of you, this could be someone who you had something with in the past and they are st stuck on you. They still have these feelings lingering over. I'm just going to throw that out there for anyone who resonates with it. If you don't want that message, if you don't want someone from your past, you don't have to have them back in your life. But I'm just putting it out there because I have to bring through what I'm getting. Okay. So what attracts them to pile two? The world. Four of wands. Okay. Six of wands. And their feelings, more about their feelings. Knight of swords. Seven of cups. Queen of swords. Okay, on the bottom, Ten of Pentacles. So in terms of what attracts them to you, Pile 2, I feel like this person feels that you are their, their, their person. You're their person. Look, that Four of Wands straight in the middle there. And a lot of people do call that the Soulmate card, you know, that Four of Wands. But with the world here and the Six of Wands, it's like I found you. I found my person. And I feel like that's maybe why I'm getting that stuck on you card. Nobody has competed or nobody has, um, like the Six of Wands is a card of victory, of winning, you know, coming into town after that amazing victory. And so it's like no one has been able to, I don't like saying the word compete, but that's what I'm getting. No one has been able to affect them in the way you have affected them and so all we see is this hand up in the air here what is that meaning there's something to that hand I'm getting you know on our hand is our um our print okay like our fingerprint our palm our lines of our palms and all the things that make us unique and I feel like whenever they have connected with someone else because I do feel that this person has likely had other connections made other connections um, during the time they've known you that it's always been interrupted by their thoughts of you and by the thoughts of that person not being like you this might be the thing that they're finding difficult to get past is that no one is coming close or they're not feeling connected to anyone in the same way that they're connecting to you. There's also something about the way the two of you, your minds meet, you know, the way the two of you think and communicate. You can communicate on a whole range of topics, you know. You two think alike and there could even be, I'm getting as I'm um, connecting in with these Seven of Cups, Something around the two of you liking a particular, I'm actually getting Star Trek. I don't feel it's necessarily Star Trek for all of you. It could be for someone, but I'm feeling like there's a particular topic that is um, a little bit niche or a little bit specific that the two of you both are into, It, you know, and that not everyone knows about this, but the two of you may connect on that. But it's not just that topic you connect on. It's a whole range of things. And so this person is like, you and I share so much. We share so much together the way that we think. You're not the same. I don't get that you think the same. But I think that I get that the way that you think connects you to really relate well to each other. And it's like your um, conversation you take each other deeper like the conversation between the two of you is really exciting and really deep isn't the word that I want to say I mean it could be deep but it, there's something else about it it's uh creative so it could be really witty too so something around that conversation is coming through here is really significant 
like I said, you could have deep conversations, but I get that the key for them is about the way that you two converse being different, unique. Some of the topic may be unique. One particular topic may be unique and that you're able to talk on a wide range of stuff. Maybe you're even able to talk on a wide range of stuff that they don't talk to other people about as well. So these are some of the things that are coming through. Let me just sit here and see what messages I'm getting. I just got the message fishing. Now, I don't know if that means the two of you are fishing or if this person, um, like literally if fishing is a thing, or if this is to do with the conversation, because I was just talking about that. So does it mean um, that as the two of you communicate, you explore a whole lot of different topics and that a whole lot of stuff comes up from under the surface? Is that it could be metaphorical let's just sit with that for a moment getting Natalie Christopher Siobhan okay I've just I'll try and um, I need to just keep focused on this <laughs> okay sorry sometimes when the names come through I try to off offload them as they're coming in okay let's keep going here let's have a look and see what messages we're getting yeah security need to feel safe and spend time together need to feel safe and spend time together okay this won't be for everyone either but there could be an element of this connection that this person feels is not going to be accepted by everyone. And it could be relating back to that Three of Swords energy. Because when I'm looking at this castle here and this raven, it gives me a sense of um, something being hidden or protected. So, I mean, this message could just be about this person wanting to build some sort of solidness around the connection some kind of sense of security that you want to have something um, more one-on-one -on -one with them, more personal that they can open up and express. And that will be up to them, I guess, you know, because of that first message we got about the two ways of thinking that they're having. But there could also be something here for a few of you about them feeling like others around you might not be accepting of this connection or might dissuade you from connecting with them, whether that's family, friends, maybe people prefer you to be in a different connection and will say, you know, pile two, maybe don't look at this person, look at another person, or maybe you, you should just spend some time on your own, or they could have some ideas around that, needing to feel safe and spend time together. Yeah, they're a bit insecure about... Um, whether you would want something with them, perhaps. Let's keep going. I will find my way back to you one day. Hmm. So this could be for those of you who resonated with that earlier message where I said a few of you, it could be an ex or a few of you this person has expressed before. I'm just going to leave that one there for whoever it connects for won't be for everyone one-sided relationship yeah this is what I feel their fear is and that's what this security relates to they fear that this is just coming from them and they've held on to it for so long perhaps it's built itself up to become bigger than you know like it's become bigger and bigger in their mind like you know this is how I feel and pile two doesn't know about it and it, be, it takes on a whole life of its own and that may be why they just feel more comfortable in that like they've become so used to it because the story they tell themselves become used to that story winter solstice okay so here in the um, southern hemisphere we are heading into winter, but that time of year, depending on where you are in the world, could be significant for either when this person last connected with you or when they're going to express themselves. All right, so I'll leave that message there. Let's just keep going. 
winter solstice i'm getting a feeling actually as i'm just about to move into the next card that something significant may have happened around the winter solstice between the two of you this may be helping you to as a confirmation that yes do you remember that time do you remember something that happened around them especially since where i've laid it is just over i'll find my way back to you maybe it's like something significant happened then and even if you're still talking it's like it almost got broken through or something maybe you two felt close at that time and they want to find their way back to that closeness fear and worry yep okay fresh start let's put that one here for those who are resonating there okay need to cover this one so let me just cover it i will cover it with the fresh start card permanent mark you left a permanent mark on their heart that can't be erased even if they try you will always be remembered so remember i talked a little while ago about that hand up here and i was kind of finding it a little bit hard to express what i was getting with it but it was all about individuality you know something unique about you the palm print the fingerprints i'm not saying those particular things are the unique things that were standing out but there's something about the connection with you that can't be replaced here a permanent mark on their heart it can't be erased so they may be trying to have other connections or they may have tried to have other connections to meet other people to put this in the past to move forward particularly if they felt like you were in another connection or you weren't interested in them but i feel like they haven't been able to do this i feel like they haven't been able to um i was going to say take you off that pedestal and it's not necessarily a thing that we want to have someone put us on a pedestal but they see you as their person you know you have that four of wands they haven't been able to unsee that that that's how they feel deep down they feel you're their person they haven't related to someone had the conversation with anyone else the way that they've had it with you and so they carry these feelings around in them wondering should i step forward towards pile two or should i just stay stuck here like is this just what it's meant to be is that how it's designed to be because of this block grieving they're stuck in grief unable to see they have the power to create a positive change okay pile two so i need to i need to just move these over unable to see they have the power so they have the magician card first card out all right and the magician card or the magician is somebody who absolutely has the power to create positive positive change so why are they not able to see that they are stuck in grief stuck in grief that there's something between the two of you i need to have a look here i think i'm just going to move these cards tell me more about this me more about why this person's stuck in grief for those that there wasn't a breakup all right for those where this is someone who just hasn't come forward why king of swords in reverse You know what we've got empress in reverse five of swords queen of swords and on the bottom the tower
you know, I'm getting a couple of things here. First of all, I'm getting that this person may feel like you are just on a different path. Even if the two of you are a pair here, even if the two of you have this amazing connection here. So we've got King and Queen of Swords, right? They might feel like you are on a completely different pathway. You know, you're doing it on your own or you have something different in mind here. Or you're just not interested in this connection. Or for some of them, they feel like there are too many people involved here. But there's something around um, what I do keep getting is that there's something around this person doubting themselves. Like we've got here that they are unable to see they've got power to create change, even though they're coming up as a magician. We've got the tower here, so it could be connected to something that's happened in the past with them. Not necessarily with you, it may have been with you or it may not. But this is to do with stories they're telling themselves about, do I step forward and express myself? Or do I just stay stuck? There might be something around... Um, also, and I'm just going to put this out there, it's only going to be for very few. Remember I mentioned a little earlier that some of them may have come out of a long-term connection in the past. There could be something, because I got the word guilt, there could be something connected to them carrying some, some kind of guilt or shame around the ending of that connection and holding themselves back. We did have that Eight of Swords earlier, holding themselves back from stepping towards their happiness and Almost, it almost feels like a um, sense of, you know what, I'll just stay stuck here holding on to my feelings for someone else because I didn't make it work in a past connection or because of something that happened in a past connection, I don't know if I um, should just let myself move forward, Should if I have the ability to create what I want in my life. Maybe that's what's created self-doubt. Maybe they're carrying some kind of, there could be a few of them carrying some kind of guilt over a past ending or connection. Take what connects for your situation. But that grieving card is an unusual one to get coming up there. Let's just keep going here. Unfounded fear. Okay, they are afraid to trust and get hurt. The illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety unable to act upon their love. Now that is what we're getting. We, we can see down the um, center here like I said that they are wanting to act there's a desire we have the page of wands we have the justice card but by the same token we have all around it this kind of stuck energy this like fear this worry you know wanting a fresh start but not moving towards it winter solstice can also be representing the energy of you know that little cold winter energy here but you have left a permanent mark on this person's heart. They do recognize there's lots about you that they are very drawn to. The conversation jumping out like the way the two of you have this meeting of the minds, something special that you might share in common. And also your you, their unique attraction to you, like your unique qualities that you bring to the connection. They haven't been able to find someone that even comes close to that, I feel. So... Yeah, okay. Now, oh no, I haven't finished these ones. I was about to talk about the Silent Heart ones. Uprooting. They are leaving all that is familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. All right. So we did touch on that as well, that a few of them may have been in some kind of long-term connection. Now, whether they're ready to start this brand new life with you will be different for, you know, for whoever's watching but this leaving of like uprooting leaving of a long-term relationship look at the imagery here and all the birds which is reminding me of all the swords energy that we've had through this reading they might feel like they're in that you know i'm in this house i'm kind of here and am i ready to jump out because i don't have much stability here yet i haven't quite landed on my feet maybe that's what's making them feel like I don't know if I'm ready yet. Is it the timing right? Or should I just stay here? Perhaps they're still holding on to a lot of that past relationship. Perhaps that's what's making them hold back. Holding on to a lot of those past memories. 
maybe there is some guilt attached to it whether they have whether that is um there's a reason for that or not like people can feel guilt over relationships ending even if there was nothing that they could have done to prevent that like relationships are complex and you know it's seldom one thing that we can do to prevent it so there could be some real um, uprooting and upheaval going on for them perhaps some of them it's got to do with you perhaps many of them I feel it's just something that's been going on in their life at the same time and that they're trying to work their way through um, everything but remember I did talk about them having these feelings for you for a long time so if they were in another connection I'm just um, wondering how did that overlap with this past connection? Did they have feelings when they are in another connection? That's possible too, I guess. So these are our Silent Heart cards and they are closely, well, they come with these ones here with the Love Oracle. So... But I thought the Silent Heart was perfect for this reading, so I went and grabbed it. Spiritual Awakening. Yep, okay. Let's put that right there with the uprooting. You aren't the... F you are, sorry, you are the first person to make me feel this way. Absolutely. We did get that. But... They're afraid that maybe that they're not the first person to make you feel this way and maybe you don't even know or think of them. Perhaps they're worried about that. Like, is Paul too even aware of me? Is Paul too noticing me? Is Paul too feeling the same? I'm getting yes as I'm saying this. So some of them do know that you feel the same way, but yet they haven't stepped forward to fully express. Okay. All right, so I'm going to get some uh, letters out now. I'm getting the name Scott as I'm getting ready to do this. So let's have a look. Getting Charlie. We have got D. I'll put them here. B, V, H, W, N. O, E, O, let's see up there, S, G, O, one more shuffle, oh, one more roll rather, Q, N, F, K, B, M, J, and T. Jason, Jeff, Jeffrey, Kate, Tanya, Vicky, Alyssa, Danny, Carleen. Catherine, Chris, Will, Sarah, Laura, Deborah, Noah, Frank. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Let's grab some charms. I was getting boat. Let me just have a look. Boat. Is there an A? There isn't an A. I was getting boat. So I don't know if a boat is relevant. Boast. Okay. Boat. We'll just leave boat in there in case anyone is um, connecting with that. We did get fishing, so... Maybe there's something around the boat and fishing. 
we've got the little musical notes. So someone may be very musical or play an instrument. We've got the B. <clears throat> this little B makes me think of working um, working with others, like being very collaborative, being very busy as well. Got the bike, the ruler, which remember I was talking about that this person's very um, like a thinker. I feel like they're very logical. We've got the little arts and crafts pot. Someone might be into arts and crafts. We've got the soccer ball. The little dog with the big ears. So dogs to me about loyalty, friendship, companionship. This person could be a friend. They could be someone that you hang out with a lot or that's in your social group. The elephant is um, stability, groundedness. Remember we talked about there might be a lack of that. Maybe they see you as very stable, very grounded. Maybe the connection for them feels stable and grounded. We've got a C there. I got Chris before. I feel like there's something else um, with that C. <laughs> I was getting charming and then I got Cinderella. So I don't know if um, there's something around. Cinderella always makes me think of shoes. But um, there may be something around either the story of Cinderella, Disney or the actual shoes. Like shoes could be something that you really like. We've got the glasses. The little sheep. I always think of countries like uh, New Zealand, Australia for sheep, but sheep are often connected with um, following. So maybe and farms as well. Maybe with the sheep, this person is just doing what they think is best for the group, the collective. Another musical note. Maybe there's something around music. Maybe this person has sent you music or you two share music. Remember I talked about there being something that the two of you shared that was specific. There could be a particular band or particular um, genre of music that the two of you like. And a phone. Okay, so maybe that's how the two of you communicate is via phone, text, something like that. That's what I have for you, Pile 2. I hope it was helpful. I'm sending you lots of love if it was helpful, I'd appreciate it if you could hit that like button and hopefully I'll see you back next time. You might be able to make some more words with these letters if you do or any names. Feel free to um, pop them in the comments if you feel called to. Otherwise, I'll catch you later. Have a beautiful week. Talk soon. Bye. Okay, beautiful pile three. Let's pop your crystal there, your oracle cards over here and let's have a look. So we've got the wheel. Two of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Star, Knight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so Pile 3, I feel like you might have two people interested in you with this uh, Knight of Pentacles and this Emperor card. I feel like this Two of Cups could be representing their feelings, but also perhaps with this Star card underneath, representing what you want from a connection. You know what I'm getting with this Star card? I feel like perhaps there's something around you wanting something that's more grounded and more solid and more, um, you know, based in love with this two of cups, but with the star, which can be about hope in the future and all of these beautiful things, I feel like perhaps there's something around wanting to be recognized, wanting to be in a connection where your worth is recognized. Already. Okay, so I got the word already, which was kind of a funny word to get there. So was there something here, Pile 3, about past connections where you felt like you weren't recognised or where you felt like 
maybe what you thought was this two of cups was love ended up you didn't feel this star energy like maybe you felt like it ended up being all around the other person or you know that you weren't seen for who you are you weren't well maybe this bird has got something to do with it too maybe you felt like things were always taking a turn you know things were always up in the air you didn't feel grounded you didn't feel like you had stability maybe this is re what's really important here is I need to be seen for who I am and I need to feel like there's something more here than just surface level but I feel like there's two people here potentially this knight of pentacles and this emperor energy and these cards underneath to me they look like perhaps how they are seeing you like their perception of you this knight of pentacles would be someone who is quite slow moving quite methodical careful cautious you know earth energy very patient and takes their time and weighs things up and then you've got this emperor energy here which is more uh, more forceful but also structured and um, has a, a sense of being commanding you know the emperor energy there's a sense of um, strength to it like a sense of will to it and so this more cautious knight of uh, pentacles energy is looking at you and seeing you as this really independent uh in your power strong powerful but maybe a little bit icy when you look at this card you know this card kind of always gives me a little bit of that iced feeling um it's beautiful absolutely beautiful but i mean she's looking straight straight forward right so maybe they feel like pile three is like I can connect with pile three, but I need to take time to really weigh this up. I don't know, I don't have all the facts here and I don't know how pile three feels and I don't know what pile three wants and I don't know if pile three is interested and I don't know if pile three is even interested in me or even any connection. Pile three looks very happy where they're at. And then you come across to this emperor and how the emperor is looking at you and the Emperor, we see you have this Queen of Cups, which is this beautiful, flowy energy. I mean, look at her dress there and just look at the leaves and the flowers and the whole, like the arched, um, the circular window here. I mean, this is circle here, but it, it looks much warmer here. You know, it's kind of autumn, you know, things are uh, not quite as cool. And I mean, cool as in weather-wise. And she's standing on the step, so... There's room for movement here and yet she's looking down. So I feel like this person sees you as very mysterious and enticing and there's, a, but there's a receptiveness, you know, there's like this feminine receptiveness, regardless of gender, there's a receptiveness to you. And I'm just being drawn here to this branch that looks like it has some, uh, it's been lit here, which is connecting me up here. So this person feels like they can maybe have an impact on you. They can see their effect on you or they can have an effect on you. I feel like this person has a level of confidence, you know, a level of, um, they have a high level of charisma, but there's also something that they, Hurry within them that could feel really enticing and really draw you in not just you like this person is someone that others may even look at and say you know that person you know <laughs> like they, I feel like they've got it you know so but they're looking at you and I feel like you're the one that's really catching their eyes so let's have a look I'm gonna see which one of these people I feel you're drawn to because we've got all these oracle cards here and 
I mean, different ones may, I guess, come out for different people, but I feel like they'll come out for the one that you're connecting with. So let's have a look and see what it is that we'll see. We'll see if we can just get a little bit more information on each one, actually, before we move into the Oracle cards. Show me more about this Knight of Pentacles, please. More about the Knight of Pentacles for part three. I am getting a pretty strong intuitive feeling that the Emperor energy is the one that is calling you, is uh, the one you would be more interested in if they were to express themselves. But this is not someone who wears their heart on their sleeve, part three. Okay, Knight of Cups. No, I don't want that many. So you've got the Six of Swords and the Knight of Cups. This person could be looking for the right time to open up, but I do get a sense of them just being extremely cautious always perhaps waiting for the right time. Maybe they've been waiting for the right time for a long time, and I don't know that you're particularly interested. Let's have a look at the Emperor. I mean, the Emperor is Aries energy, doesn't mean they have to be Aries, but this is the person who is coming across as charismatic, who is coming across as having the who's coming across as affecting you. So I feel like this is the one that we're reading on. This one you seem to be in your, like they're around you. You might even be aware that they're interested, but they just don't seem to be affecting you in the way this person is. It's like one person is having very little impact on you and the other person is impacting you and making you feel even a little bit uh, shy. Like I'm wondering, are they interested or I'm just looking down I'm not really looking at I'm not trying to watch too closely yeah look at that so ten of pentacles this is the person you see as the whole package or you would see as the whole package if you're not recognizing them okay this is not someone who I necessarily feel would hold back because you've got that eight of swords in reverse so it's like they make a decision and they move forward. But at the moment, because I'm very much being drawn to where he's standing, this is someone who hasn't made a decision to express yet. They haven't quite made their mind up. They could just be watching. They're attracted to you. They have feelings, but they don't know what to do with these feelings. They don't know what they're going to do with them yet. But this is someone, from the looks of what these cards are saying to me, who once they make their mind up on anything in life, they move forward. Like this is a decision person. This is a person who doesn't uh, waste time, you know, like they don't, or they might waste a little bit of time if you feel like they've been taking a long time, but they don't, um, once their mind is made up, they make a move, okay? They might not make up their mind immediately, but once they do, once it fits into their ideas about what the structure is, what the plan is, they will move forward. Okay, with it, whatever their decision is. Yeah, look at that. You tick their boxes there. So the feelings are there. So we're going to read on this person, the one who is really interested in you and who it seems you would be more attracted to. Okay, this one here, I mean, if a message comes through and you feel it connects with them, the one who you don't seem to be interested in, then take that if it resonates. But I'm just going to read on the one that it looks to me like you are drawn to or that you would be more interested in. Okay, let's have a look. All heart, standing by your long-lasting commitments. So I feel like this is how they see you. They see you as someone 
here we we're talking about that i said someone's soft we've got this cups card coming through doesn't mean you have to be a water sign but someone who stands by what they say someone who's loyal perhaps that could be one of the things that they really like about you um faithful maybe they see that in your friendships in the way that you communicate and also with all hearts someone who's not afraid of their emotions not afraid to con connect with their emotional side not afraid to express themselves with their feelings you do have your i keep being drawn to her head looking down so i feel like there hasn't been much personal talk perhaps in front of them but they have seen aspects of you that have let them know that there's layers to you you're not a person who is afraid of emotion you're not a person who is afraid to express so perhaps they've seen you with friends colleagues um, in circumstances where you have expressed on certain topics but that's one of the things they like about you they like that you are um, so this person may may look at you as very independent they might also but the thing that really draws them is the heart aspect finances are a problem mm, interesting Certainly I didn't get that up here, particularly when we've got this 10 of pentacles. Take that if and as it connects. Maybe finances is one of the things they're always focused on. Maybe they see it as a problem, like there, I just need to focus on money. Maybe they're a person who works a lot. This could be, and I did get this vibe before with that card, could be someone who runs their own business, is a bit of an entrepreneur, they could be someone who's working all the time or looking at setting something up. You know, this could be like a metaphor for, you know, I'm very focused on money or I'm very focused on getting things moving in that way. I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. Okay. So perhaps you did feel like you started to get close to this person. Maybe they didn't express because this reading is about who secretly has feelings for you. But maybe you felt like a closeness started to build up or you felt like, you know what, maybe the two of us will start to talk or maybe this person will start to come towards me. And then, bam, they start to pull back. They start to retreat. And maybe they, they're saying it's because there's a lot going on. Could be to do with work. I do get that through for some of them that there's work involved here, work's a big part of their life. But there can also be other things going on, of course. <clears throat> I'm getting Jacob coming through. Be confident. Queen of Cups. See how confident this card looks. And yet here, I don't get that kind of confidence coming through. Maybe they um, feel that you're less confident than you are because Pop Free, I actually get you coming through as quite confident, but maybe there's a softer um, side. Not that confidence can't, you know, confident people can't have a soft side, but maybe there's a side to you that is a little bit like when you're around them, you're like, yeah, this person, I've, I'm attracted to them or when I'm around someone that I'm really interested in, I sort of let that confidence slip a little bit. There could be something around that for someone. Be confident. The long haul. Okay, what's this long haul about? What's this long haul about? money this could be someone pile three who really wants a partner or someone who will stand by their side whilst they go through a very long um, process or uh, business of building a business of some sort of goal that they have in mind and you may have your own goals so you know, this, of course, would be up to you if this person comes forward towards you. But the long haul to me felt immediately as I saw it that it may be connected to 
this card, I actually don't feel that finances are a problem, but I feel like finances are a focus perhaps for some of them. I mean, take it as it resonates. Maybe some of you will say, yeah, I know that they finances are one of the things that they're concerned with. But with this coming up and these cards here, they may be saying, I need to put a lot of time, a lot of energy. And even this card up here, I need to put a lot of time and energy into my work. And I don't know how much I can give to a connection. Maybe that's why they've held back. Maybe that's why these feelings are secret. Because, you know, they have these feelings, but... What do I do with them when I only have so many hours in a day? How do I give enough to Pile 3? So let's keep going. I'm just going to pop a light on Pile 3 because it's getting a little bit dark. Oh my goodness, Pile 3, I'm sure you all saw that coffee. It went absolutely everywhere. I've just been cleaning up, getting things dried out and setting this back up. I considered starting your reading again. But I was being given a very clear message to just keep going with it. I actually have my own um, thoughts on why what happened happened. And it's more about my own um, journey through all of this. And if you want to stick around to hear that at the end, I'll talk about that after I do your reading. But I want to stick with your reading at the moment. I'm getting the sense that perhaps a part of them really would like to have this connection, really would like to have this love grow. But and another part of them is very set on some particular goal that they have. So it's almost like they put it out there and at the same time they resist it. So let's just keep going with the Oracle cards and see what else we get through. And if that's resonating, you may actually find that it connects for you, but Take it as it connects. Now, I want to keep going with these cards. Well, the cards are a bit jumbled up now, but the time is now. Okay, so perhaps they're feeling like now is the right time to move towards you or to express. Maybe because I was very drawn to this uh, fire down here in this branch, they are feeling like, now would be the right time to strike while the, while the iron's hot, you know. Like pile three is a little bit softened to me or is a little bit, um, would pay attention if I went towards them. There's something about the energy here that makes them feel like they could step in and maybe build here, you know. Things could really work in their favour. So the time is now could be them thinking that things have gone on for long enough perhaps and, you know, they're ready to make some sort of move or maybe they feel like you are ready or that you're not going to make a move towards them with her head facing down. That's the other thing. Like she's not looking directly at them, whoever they are. So perhaps they're sensing that if I don't make a move, pile three may not come towards me and then what then what happens so let's keep going here gossip there's a lot of gossip that surrounds this relationship that is affecting not only their judgment but their vision too okay so the gossip could be relevant particularly for those of you where this is a work connection but even if this is a social connection like a friendship group or something like that, or you study at the same place, maybe there are others who have opinions on their attraction to you, on their feelings for you. Maybe they've shared their feelings. We might have a look at that in a moment and see, well, actually, let's do it now while we're here. Let's have a look and see what it is about this gossip card. I'm going to use the original deck here. Show me more about gossip. Why is gossip affecting this connection? Why is gossip here? Hmm. 
Okay, Knight of Cups. Okay, so it says gossip may be affecting not only their judgment, but their vision too. Let me look on the bottom. Knight of Cups and Page of Cups. The Hierophant. You know, initially I was about to say that perhaps others are telling them that you have other people interested in you, and that could be the case. But with the Hierophant here and those two cup court cards, I'm wondering if people are maybe saying to them, you know, this could become something big. And maybe even though um, that they may want that, and maybe saying to them, things about where the connection could lead to that is causing them to think too far ahead where they don't really want to do that. They just want to take it step by step, you know, just have a little bit at a time and see where things go. And maybe people are putting big expectations into their head or saying, you know, why don't you go towards pile three? Where's this going to lead? It's time for you. Maybe people are pressuring them. And that's what's affecting their judgment or affecting their vision. Their vision might just be to let things um, develop as they do, to come towards you. Because remember, we saw that if they make a decision, they step into it. You know, where was that? That was back here. You know, they make a decision. That two of uh, ones was somewhere about. Not sure where it is now. But, you know, they step into it. They make that choice. But they don't like feeling pressured. They don't like feeling like other people are telling them what to do or telling them what this relationship will be or having them, you know, partnered off. They want it to be on their terms, you know, that emperor energy. They want it to be on their terms. They want it to be the way they want it to be. Maybe others are saying to them, you know what, you're not the only one interested in pile three. That could be the other thing that's happening here. Okay, let's keep going choices there's a choice they have to make they know time is not on their side and they risk losing you forever if they don't i'm not sure why i'm getting this and i'm just going to put it out there for anyone it might connect with i'm getting sorry i was getting um the song imagine coming through as well just then and i'm not sure why i'm getting that but i'll come back to that in a moment i was getting a visual of a university so i don't know if that means some if that's representing study or if that is just representing an environment where there is like a social group like sort of peer pressure so maybe they're feeling like there's peer pressure to approach you or peer pressure to accept that there are others who may be around you and that um, perhaps they are okay perhaps they are under a little bit of pressure to live up to a particular image and that that's not really what they want with you like maybe others see them as a bit of a party person or someone who doesn't really tie themselves to any one person but with you they want something a little bit more serious and of course now it's going to start to pour the rain I do not know what is going on here with your reading pile three but the energies around this whole reading have been very um disruptive and i always i know those of you who watch my other readings will know that everything that goes on for me during a reading is um connecting like i'm paying attention to it so there could have even been a lot of um disruption to this connection or maybe this connection feels really I don't know like a bumpy ride I don't, I'm not sure but take that if it's connecting let's keep going ancestral karma they are clearing negative ancestral patterns that were passed down through generations don't rush the journey 
Yeah, look, this isn't someone who will be rushed. This isn't someone who will go on someone else's clock. Not that I feel you are trying to rush them, but a few of them may have others like friends that are trying to push them in one direction or friends who are trying to push them to approach you for something physical, you know, to express their attraction or friends that are saying, you know what, Pile 3 has lots of people interested. You should um, approach them or you'll miss an opportunity. But it's very... Um, telling that they have where was it this one and this one because one of them is saying there's a choice to be made and if they don't make it they risk losing you and the other one is saying they're clearing negative ancestral patterns don't rush the journey so this may be what is pulling them in two directions on the one hand they feel like i shouldn't rush this it's something that needs to take time unfold in its own time but on the other hand maybe they feel there's a clock ticking like maybe the two of you, if there is some sort of study or if there is some kind of environment where the two of you are together for a certain amount of time, that time has a limit on it. Or maybe they feel like there's a limit because of other people who are around you who may want to get involved with you. And then once you're involved with someone else, they may feel like that door's closed. Okay. Have a look here. Silent Heart cards. Passion and desire. Plenty of passion and desire here. Absolutely feeling that. I want a new beginning with you. Don't need that. <laughs> I want a new beginning with you. Okay. So some of you... I'm actually feeling that wanting a new beginning is not necessarily a new beginning of something you two had but they want to begin again like some sort of pattern they've had they're wanting some new beginning telepathic bond i feel for most of you who've come to pile three you do sense this person's interest you do have a feeling that this person is into you that they like you that they want something more Okay, let me just sit for a moment and bring through whatever messages I'm getting here. I'm getting the name Anthony. Melissa. Nathan. Andrew. Patrick. Simon. Poppy. I'm getting the name Nero. I don't know if that's a name or a name of a place, or like part of a name of a place. Getting Stingray as well. I don't know if they are connected to place, like venues or... Annie. Getting Donna. I'm getting London. I don't know if that means someone's traveling or someone's there currently. <clears throat> I'm getting a letter to London. Well, not many people send letters now, but maybe it means a message to someone there. <clears throat> Let me pull some charms and see if they're connecting for anyone. Okay. Oh, so we've got the swan. It could be swans, like literally connected to where the two of you have been or where you are. I feel like this person does feel like you are graceful. Look, we've got the hummingbird there. There was a hummingbird wasn't there in one of the previous cards. So this could be a relationship or a connection where the energy changes quickly. There's something around the energy, I feel, for this connection. Like it may change from one direction to another. Sometimes you connect with them. It may feel one way, another time it may feel another. 
could be quite unpredictable. The mirror. So this can be about reflecting. Maybe they're reflecting on what it is they want. There's that line. This person could be a fire sign, but I feel like there's a lot of fire energy that they carry through, like a lot of um, those sort of qualities of the fire signs, like strength and courage and boldness. We've got Taurus here on the table too, whilst I'm thinking. We've got the heart for their feelings. The little gnome. Gnome, I always think of gnomes as being underground, you know, like connected to the earth. So I could be connected to them um, keeping everything hidden. Is that truth? That's longevity. This could be someone older too. I feel like there's something more to this gnome. Maybe it's connected to um, this person being like a stockier build. I don't mean actually like gnome-like, but maybe it's just drawing me to that, like a stockier build. The bat, yeah, you intuitively may be feeling that this person is interested in you. We've got that little bunch of bananas. This could be them telling friends about their connection to you. I feel like there is some gossip and I feel like possibly the gossip is reaching back to you as well with this shell because the shell always reminds me of, you know, you put them up to your ear and you hear about things. So maybe you're getting wind of bits and pieces. This bee, um, bee, this bee appeared in pile two as well. So this can be to do with work, worker bees, um, being industrious, working together, the hive. So medicine, like healthcare, and a tie. I'm getting lots of um, things to do with work and study in your pile, pile three. All right, let me just see if there are any last messages coming through for you. Anything else for pile three, please, about this person who secretly has feelings for them. I'm getting that the letter P may be very relevant as well. Queen of Swords. And the world. I do feel like most of you know who this is, have a very good idea who this is, but are waiting for them to approach you. I don't feel like you, Pile 3, are going to be the one to open up to them, are going to approach them. You're just waiting to see what they do with this information, waiting to see if they come towards you, biding your time and saying, you know what, I'm just going to see what Pile 3 does what this person does will they come towards me will they say anything or will they just leave it i actually do feel like you have um those of you that are aware of who this person is, you do have a time limit in your mind. Like you're not going to wait for this person forever. You are interested in them. You're attracted to them, but you're not waiting for them forever. It's like, I'll wait and see, but at some point, this won't. I won't be available to them. So that's what I'm getting for some of you, that you're just going to say to yourself, I'll wait until this long, and if they haven't approached me, then I'm just not going to consider this an option. But take that if it connects for you, Pile 3. That's what I have for you. I hope that it was helpful. Um, sorry about the coffee incident. But that's just one of those things, I guess. 
but I'll go into that in a moment for those that want to stick around. Otherwise, sending you lots of love and hopefully I'll see you next time, Path 3. See ya. Thank you to those of you who have stuck around. Look, I have been working really hard to try and trust that when I'm getting interrupted with the readings or when things are not, um, I don't feel like I'm expressing things the way that I feel I should be. I'm trying really hard to work with my guides and just trust the process. And I've been getting lots and lots of um, tests, which I know other readers receive this kind of stuff as well. But I feel like today was a real culmination because I was halfway through your reading, felt really good about the flow, felt really um, in tune with the messages. And then halfway through, I moved this light on a stand and it knocks the whole cup over. And I'm like, oh no, disaster, the cards, everything, you know. <laughs> and so um, it was a real um, struggle because I was, I was then forced to think about, am I going to redo your whole thing, which would have involved reshuffling in new cards or am I going to put something out that I didn't necessarily feel a hundred percent comfortable with and I have struggled in the past which I know many of you have with trying to meet certain um, ideas that I had for myself about how I should do things you know and it's silly because it's not up to me like this isn't like it's part of my process how I how I lay the cards out and all of that but I am trying to be a channel here to bring through the messages and so I really wanted to just honor that and you know honor that process and be true to what was pulled initially what had come through and not start again so that is why we have a coffee reading for pile three and i feel like they're the cards you were meant to get to today guys so i hope that they did resonate and if they didn't i hope at least that the reading was in some way valuable to you but um yeah that that's what's going on for me i'm just trying to be a little bit more uh, connected with what my guides are asking of me and a little bit less about ego and what I think should be on the channel and a little bit about what they think should be on the channel okay so that's where I'm coming from but anyway that's what I did and last week I got a little bit upset I have to admit because I got a comment and um, something along the lines of you're too slow I unsubscribed and it wasn't the unsubscribe that bothered me that's fine not every reader is for every person and you know our journey can shift and change all the time that's fine but the bit that did upset me a little bit was you're too slow because I don't set the pace and sometimes I feel like I come into the readings at record speed and I'm trying to slow myself down and other times I feel like I'm like a snail <laughs> I'm like ah oh, but I've I'm not setting that pace. So anyway, this is all about just trusting the process. And I know many of you are readers, so we'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. And if you're not readers, <clears throat> you might have this same situation in relate, relation to other areas of your life where you're just, just trying to let go and trust and go with what is um, what your guides are asking of you rather than, you know, the kind of mental processes that we have been inundated with since childhood anyway sending you guys so much love you are amazing I love the way the candle's gone out it's time for me to wrap it up <laughs> okay have a wonderful week and i'll talk to you soon bye